Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I thought I'd discuss just a little something about the manhood mental filter, which I know is coming up, but I just don't know how it's going to be resolved. I saw a very interesting work of art recently that signifies for me the thing that's changing for men right now. Um, it was a picture of uh, a man uh, who had on jeans and he had no shirt on, just he was wearing jeans. It was kind of a murky picture. And in front of him was another man about the same as him, except that he was portrayed with a woman's breasts. He was also um, sh shirtless. And so it was a picture of a, the man behind um, he had a pitcher, maybe a pitcher of water that he was pouring over the head of the man in front. And uh, I would say that the overall tenor of the picture, which I'll try to find the link for for you, was um, erotic. It had a feel, an erotic feel to it because of the superimposition of the woman's breasts on the man in front. And uh, it, it, what this picture indicates to me is the essence of this is V dot 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 D dot 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 what they call mental filter or uh, sometimes I call it the victim aggressor mental filter that's resulting in like astral rape and psychic rape and like that right now amongst varying flurries of people all over the globe. It seems to me that the manhood mental filter right now contains this element of believing or misconceiving or treating women as if they were men. And so so that's why the picture in front of one man like pouring the water over another man that also has qualities of the woman um, applies, you see. It's the notion in the deep subconscious minds of men that women are the same as them except that they have the ability to bear children and and nurture children so and that's very very inaccurate um, w women and men have complete at this point in the in the awakening process have completely different um, like soul signatures um, and this has to do with the clearing of, of the victim-aggressor paradigm, see? And so uh, I thought I'd, I'd just point out that, that there is this notion, that a very prevalent notion, but generally speaking, humankind doesn't know it's there because it's an archetypal kind of knowing, a very deep sub or unconscious type of knowing. Uh, could be that women feel the same way. I was toying with the notion of creating a piece of art that was the opposite, that had a woman standing behind a woman that was uh, somehow also portrayed as a, as a, as a man, maybe in, in the area below the waist. And so, but I, I don't have the like, tools to do that, but it, it, it is true, I think, that women tend to think that men are the same as them, but in fact, men are very, very different from women in their outlook and in their emotional like responses and so forth. Uh, yet, yet we can each respect the other, and even though we're different, you know, we can each respect the other very much. And uh, I think this is a beginning of respect for all beings. If we respect people of the other gender. It's a small step, but it's the beginning. How are we going to treat uh, the nature spirits that help us with so many things that take care for earth, take care of all of the plants and animals and rocks and take care of us and keep us healthy and so forth? How are we going to, how respectful can we be towards our star brothers and sisters? who are very, very different from us and deserve the utmost uh, loving kindness. How are we going to behave towards the angels and the archangels? Will we give them um, the respect that, that they deserve? 
you know. How will we be, behave towards those from other universes? So small potatoes, you know, is, is men and women. We can do this thing. We can respect each other. Ha <laughs> ha.